Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Flies, subs, and spies. So, where we left off last time, we have taken most of Greenland back from Nazis, or well, Germany. And... Not sure where I'm going next. Moscow has fallen, Stalingrad's fallen. Greens are putting up a bit of a fight there against, against the Soviets. China's looking iffy because Shanxi has fallen. Looks like a counterattack in Dutch East India has started. Not much I can do about that. After having got my first taste of naval invasions, I am considering an invasion of Brest to help our fellow Celts. Might give might give a foothold. Thing is, I'm gonna need more troops for that. And quite possibly Marines. I'm gonna pull Ava O'Connor out of here and move her down to board though. Try and cover this flat area. Now we have pretty much the entire our Atlantic coast cut off, or not quite sealed off, close enough. Now I think about it, I think I might put these light cruisers, these Fomorian class cruisers, into a new into a new navy with a new admiral. However, I'm gonna need more of them anyway. So I'm going to leave that for now. Let's see. Oh, bicycle infantry. Move Kelly over to Brace. Might start moving Brewer over a little bit to um wrong person. Yeah, the Soviets are looking very shaky. I think I've started building these, um, trying to get some extra supplies into here for us for the con reconquest, but we don't need them anymore. So I'm gonna. Put that back down. Leave it at one. Just to help the rest of these guys. Yeah, you can see just how... How... Badly that is. Uh, there seems to be very little people come little, very few troops here oh, I'm gonna get an army department just for the extra analysis and stuff could go with the cryptology department 
a bit, but that's going to eat into this loss. Can we build more? I can. Right, so... Let's start helping, shipping, shipping, shoving, juggling these things around. Once the Shetland Islands have their radar stations, I am gonna switch back, to, switch back to um, go with. Going all the way down to why we fight is just a bit much. Might switch back into um, technology sharing because I seem to recall some of the other members of the Allies have researched marine troops, so I should be able to get uh, get them quicker. Updates too. A lot of them here, they're obviously expecting this, an attack here because they took it across the English Channel. I wonder why they, why there wasn't really a landing at Bordeaux, or well, probably because it is just just that little bit closer. They get the logistics company now, actually, because it'll just make them consume less fuel. That's kind of what we need. We're getting... Or that we're using a lot of it. I'll actually put this on the convoy rating. Just for the extra... Right, to tactical bombing. Hmm. Little but little buff the tactical bombings that we have, and we kind of need to buff them. Yeah, our navy is very specialized around submarines rather than. It's not much use to me. That's use the destroyers, lights. Basically, to get actually get that, I have to go all the way up. That's just this might be good though. Yeah, the. It doesn't it doesn't require me to upgrade anything, it but it does give some extra damage. It's just better ammo. Once off, I'll send them. Second thoughts, maybe I should go into naval production to get them out the door quicker.
Start put go I've started going back into um convoy production. I'll only do one cruiser because we really need more convoys now. because we don't have any oil coming in Not much use go with this just for nah that's not worth it You know, in hindsight, I think ha the Soviets attacking Iran was a bad idea. I think I am going to switch into naval production now because we have what we have at least one radar up here. Provide some coverage around here, maybe not a lot, but good enough. I get this regional region-wide industrial integration because um I've been giving some thoughts to either getting some thoughts going into armored cars or tanks. The so an armored company does help with that, but I'd only be using them for say re for recon rather than as actual brigades or just farming them out. Admittedly, I'm doing this partly because I have not that much to research at the moment. A couple of these for the extra production out for a while. Well, La Serpente. Naval invasion around Ancona. Probably gonna fail because so they they are pushing up towards a brook of Ancona with the naval base there. Yeah, I kind of feel crap that I'm not able to do all that much. We afford more bombers. We have another wing, perhaps some second wing just for
Oh, Michael Collins is doing work. Need some repairs. Richard Tannenbaum. Who comes up with names like that? Because the point is to not get obvious what they're going for, but Build something, build something on the pharaohs. Uh, that's not. Pharaohs, though, would have some extra coverage. You really do need. I'm going to wait for these um, factories to be done before I do that. Grass. Yeah. This is not going as well as I had hoped. I diverge from history a fair bit. I think what these floating harbors do is they give you extra extra grace for being out of supply. So you get say 72 hours without supply before you extra hours without supply or something like that. I can't remember. I haven't actually used them, but They were quite used quite heavily in the D-Day landings, until, at least up until Cherbourg and, and a few other places were were taken from the Germans. In hindsight, you think think the V2s should have been should have been deployed to hit here. That would really have screwed over the landings because they were shot full of supplies. We'll leave that in my back pocket for later, that improved working conditions. We're in a pretty good spot right now. Advanced artillery. Hmm. Or advanced anti-air. Inventory anti-tank. Get up to Scotland. Naval strike in the sea. Be able to get a once he gets up to his next level. I might be able to get cruiser captain. 
And I pushed away from the whole supplies, subs, and spies thing, haven't I? Ah, uh, well. Which... Can I steal a few blueprints from these people? Risky. Not like we have it just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, we have a massive surplus built up. Maybe I'll send these to Gibraltar and then over the Iberian coast. That's what, there's likely to be stuff there. Damn. That was not what I expected. This is probably less useless to me. Right, shock and all. What does this give us? Hmm, okay, so that's all frontline battalions. So are these added on top? Let me check something. Right, so there's stuff to tell. Yeah, I need to take a note of this. Ah, it's so That's 11.2, 1.2. Oh, sorry, 11.2 soft attack. 44.5 soft attack. Twelve point one, forty six point two. It's not like I'm actually using it for much else. Don't have any significant um on some exercise to get the extra XP back. Nineteenth of November, we get the Arthur Griffish. Thought for a moment that this was a German base. Yep.
change this to the porpoise, which is a fish. Okay, call this the three sisters. Idea and go. Don't quite got as much naval supremacy here now. Supply might actually be better here. Yeah, it means I don't, don't need that anymore. Suppose it would help Britain, but got limited supply services. a couple of these up. Uh, I might as well go all out on them because that is I mean there's a reason why the why Gibraltar is so important. Distance map trying to Let's be honest, we're basically just trolling them with the way of supplying the resistance. Oh, what the hell, I may as well put these back on. So, Lancer or Cruiser Captain? I think this is probably best for us. One less sub enemy submarine, one less problem. Yeah, we're basically providing air cover. That's not the most exciting thing, but works. Problem is we have absolutely no eyes here to see what they're doing. Because I'll bring him back home and put him on the western approaches. Was it two or three episodes ago I said that decided that getting Frank Fahey wasn't worth it to me? Oh uh, well.
into the November, we will get our shiny new Uphavorian class cruiser. You know, there's a an abortion landing in Greece went nowhere. Is this me or or is this front stabilized a bit? I haven't paid all that much attention here. That's steady. Strategic destruction. We're using that right now, but yeah, this is all coming from our chief of air force and the attaché we have. Next all save, I am going to well, pause it there for, there for this episode and then go to the next one. Well, not the most exciting thing playthrough so through this time. Just a lot of support, upbuilding, and cruisers doing cruiser things. Alright, that'll be it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time.